Hi, this is Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to keep working on story problems. Here's one. The U.S. Senate has 100 members. After a certain election, there are eight more Democrats than Republicans, with no other parties represented. How many members of each party were there in the Senate? The trick to doing this is to break this story problem down into its parts. First, there are a hundred members of, uh, uh, well, a hundred members in the U.S. Senate. I should have said Senate. Let's do that right now. Senate, because the Congress includes uh, the House of Representatives as well, and we're just talking about the Senate there. So there are a hundred members of the Senate. And we're assuming there are no independents and no Green Party and no, no, nothing else but Democrats and Republicans. Okay, those are the only two parties represented. And in this case, there are more Democrats, eight more than Republicans. And that's how we set it up. 100 members all together. And they're divided up into Democrats and Republicans. And there are more Democrats than Republicans. That's the whole idea. And we want to know how many of each, th each party there are. How many Democrats, how many Republicans? Okay. Well, we're told in here that there are eight more Democrats than Republicans. So notice that the number of Democrats is based on the number of Republicans. Eight more than the number of Republicans. How many Republicans are there? I don't know. Ha ha. I am going to let x equal the number of Republicans. Well, if there are x Republicans in the Senate this particular year that we're talking about, and there are eight more Democrats than Republicans, there must be x plus 8. Democrats. And together, the Democrats, the Dems, let's call them the Dems and the Reps, equal 100. This is not that hard, is it? Now, just substitute. We're letting X equal the number of Republicans. We're letting X plus 8 equal the number of Democrats. And we know that the two add up to 100. Now all we have to do is solve this equation, which really doesn't look like the hardest equation in the world. And we got this just from breaking the story down into sentence by sentence. What are the main ideas? The main ideas there is there are 100 members that are divided up into Republicans and Democrats. How many of each are there? Okay, so that's really all the information we have. Now I'm going to add like terms. 1x plus 1x is 2x. So I'll have 8 plus 2x equals 100. And then the first thing I'm going to do is get the x term, the variable term by itself. This 8 is added on to it. So I'm going to add the opposite of 8 to both sides of the equation. 8 plus negative 8 is 0, leaving me with 2x. 100 plus negative 8 is 92. Now I have one variable term on the left, one constant term on the right. We call pure numbers constants. Let me move this now, move it up a little. 2 is multiplied by the x, and so to get rid of that 2 and just get x by itself, I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. This will leave me with x on the left, and I've got to divide 2 into, oops, I've got my calculator. Why don't I use the calculator? I'm going to come over here and turn it on, and again, and say 92 divided by 2 
enter is 46. So x equals 46. Now, because it's a story problem, I have to look back at the original uh, uh, statement of what I let x equal. All right, x is the number of Republicans, so there are 46 Republicans. I'm going to fill out the answer box right here. There are 46 Republicans. If I were actually in my math lab, I would type 46 in the answer box. Okay, now, since the number of Democrats are x plus 8, I have to add 8 to 46. Since x is 46, this is going to be 46 plus 8, which is 54. So there are 54 Republicans, uh, uh, Democrats, 54 Democrats, 8 more Democrats than Republicans. Okay, and we have conquered this problem. It wasn't that hard, not when you break it down.